Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be going through the BTS Proof concept pictures, reviewing the fashion, giving you my thoughts and opinions. These concept pictures are absolutely beautiful and I love the contrast from the Proof version to the Door version. It is epic. I will obviously be reacting to the yet to come MV that drops on Friday, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But let's just get straight into these concept pictures. I just want to start this off by putting the two group pictures from the proof version and the door version together, just to show the complete contrast. The proof version, blacks, that very blue tone lighting, the different textures, it's giving us this like very like hard matrix, don't fuck with us vibe. And then the door version, it's incredibly soft, it's ethereal, and you can see that reflected in the types of fabrics used. There are a lot of sheer fabrics that have very light construction, and you can see the construction of the clothes. It's absolutely beautiful. But then you look at the fabrics used in the proof version, leathers, fur, strong tailoring. It's a complete contrast, a strong juxtaposition, and I think it's just, so beautiful to see the two different sides to BTS. When I was researching the concept pictures for this video, I saw a lot of articles talking about how the different concept pictures represent different points in BTS's career. And just looking on koreaboo.com now, it reads, according to Korean media, Door and Proof represent two different periods of BTS's lives. Door is the moment when BTS paved their own way, transcending all barriers. Proof alludes to the personal and professional difficulties BTS have faced along the way, including racial prejudice. And obviously BTS were just at the White House with Joe Biden talking about Asian hate and racial prejudice, so it all fits together really nicely. The article then goes on to read, interestingly, Proof and Door both convey a message of hope, but from different perspectives, rookie BTS and 2022 BTS. And I know this is all speculation, but if that is the true concept behind these pictures, I think it's beautiful and it fits perfectly with the Proof album as it is like a greatest hits album, isn't it? With three new tracks. So it just fits that perfectly. Let's dive into the Proof concept pictures. And guys, guys, you know I'm gonna love this. Straight off. When I saw these, my jaw dropped. It's just so my vibe, like what I love. I love dark concepts. I love all black looks. I love all of the different textures and all of the different textures are photographed so beautifully. It doesn't look flat. It's all black and that blue lighting gives a really beautiful blue tinge. I don't think really tinge is the right word, more like a tint, a sheen to the clothes, especially the leather pieces on Jin, Jungkook, Jimin. The way that leather looks so buttery under that blue light, like mwah, stunning. These looks are very intense and there is a lot going on with the different textures, the amount of accessories, but it just works harmoniously together. You don't look at the looks in the set and think, oh my God, it's too much. Like, oh, what's going on? It's slick texture, accessories. It's just the right amount. And you'll notice that different members have different levels. For example, J-Hope, Jin, RM, lots of heavy chains. Also Jimin, but his chains are lighter and more stacked. But then you look at V, one simple chain. That's quite heavy around the neck. Sugar doesn't really have any accessories going on because he's got that embellished hoodie. Just the way it's been done is perfect. The individual shots are beautiful. It stood in front of this vault door, all of the bullet holes. Again, it's playing into that kind of like matrix don't fuck with me vibe that I mentioned earlier. The only thing with the individual shots for me, as beautiful as they are, the concept, the way they're shot and every, everything, it's so hard to pull out the details of the clothing. And I know that's not the point of a concept picture, but obviously that's what I talk about here. So as I'm going through the individual shots, I'm gonna to refer to the group picture just because the details are so much clearer. So kicking off with Mr. Taeyang, Mr. V, giving us a strong, bad boy vampire vibes in this look. V in a dark concept is my favorite. It's just the attitude he gives. I just, it just does something to me and his look oh, just is sexy it is sexy there's no denying it the Givenchy suit that slightly wrapped over that iconic buckle that they're starting to introduce 
love it. The fact it's been styled shirtless, it's very contemporary, the chains. And then he's got the Saint Laurent fur coat over the top, the textures of the suit against the coat, it photographs so beautifully and the textural difference just juxtaposes perfectly. And I do believe that this is a faux fur coat, which you know I'm very, very thankful for. And I like the fact the chain is just one simple chain around the neck. If it was layered chains, it would take away the break of flesh that helps to break up the textures and the all black. We can see from the trousers as well that it is a slim fit and then it's been finished with a chunky shoe. I believe it is the Bottega Stivali Chelsea BV Lug style boot, which is like a shorter cut of that classic Bottega Lug boot that I still absolutely love. In V's individual shot, he's definitely given me that don't fuck with me vibe and it just works for him, like bite me. And what I love about the portrait shot as well from the set is that you really get to see the textures of the fur against the suit and it just looks beautiful against the background of the white. It stands out so clear. And I love these lasers going across their face. I would like to know if that was like something done on set or in post-production because if you're having like lights put across your face like that, taking pictures like, oh, blinded. <laughs> blinded, you're gonna be like, eh. <laughs> Surely it's post. Moving on to Jin's shot. What I love about this look for Jin is that it's so different to his own personal style, but when you actually break down the pieces, it's not too dissimilar. When we look at this leather Mac that is single breasted, the belt done up, it's by Bottega. And in the group shot, you can't see it in the individual shot. It's got that triangular buckle on the belt. And this is like a staple design when it comes to Bottega. That's how you can pull it out. But the Mac itself, the cut of it, it is quite clean and simple. Imagine it in a beige colorway. You could see him wearing it through the airport in his day-to-day -day life. And then the straight cut trouser, the chunky boot. It's a very clean and simple silhouette, but the textures of the full leather look with the chains worn over the top of the coat, it matches into the concept and he's delivering that bad boy vibe. He's just so beautiful. Like every time I see him, I'm just like, it's the worldwide handsome, it's just, it's so clear. But I love this look for Jin. Would you break down the pieces? It's his style, but the different colorways and textures, it brings it into the concept. Moving on to my bias, Jimin. This look, this image. The face is giving us that ethereal vibe, but the look is completely different. Even the gaze in the shot, it's quite soft. It's not like V and he's like, I'm gonna fuck you up. This is very like soft, ethereal vibes. It looks so beautiful. And then the look, oh my God. Oh my God. The full leather suit, the notch lapel single breasted blazer and the break of the blazer where the lapel starts to fold back and you have the button, it's right at the waist. It's really giving him that beautiful shape. And then he's got the patch pocket detail just below on the hips. And then that straight leg leather trouser tucked into that Rick Owens boot. It gives a beautiful cut. It's such a stunning silhouette. It suits him so well. And then we've got that cut out black top underneath giving us the flashes of flesh. So again, it helps to break up the black and the textures. And the layer chains really work with this look because it helps to pull the eye down into that V shape. Imagine this with the chunky, chunky necklace that J-Hope is wearing. It just wouldn't work the same with this outfit. I would honestly love this outfit, I would happily just wear it in my everyday life, like going to the shop to get some wine. Come on. Jungkook, another bias wrecker. This look just suits him so perfectly. And what I love about Jungkook is all of his piercings just work so perfectly well with this concept. The lip piercing, the eyebrow piercing, all of the studs in his right ear, the big hoop, it works with the whole look. And I love the layering of this look. This is a full leather look, but you can see that the zip through shirt, it has more of a sheen to it. It's by Alex Studios. And then the Givenchy trousers, they look like they have more of a matte finish. It might just have something to do with the way that the image has been lit. And then you can see the zip detail on the leg. And then in his individual shot, you don't really get to see that detail, but you get to see the light flashing up the shirt across that heavy iced out necklace and then the beautiful light across his face. He looks so good. And 
Like Jin, I feel like this look really reflects his own personal style. The layering, the cut of the silhouette, maybe it's not as relaxed as his like everyday kind of style, but we're still getting that oversized boxy shirt. The layering, like it just, I love it. What else is that to say? Next up, RMs, Thickums, Daddy. What I like about his shot, the lighting is the same as Jungkook. So we've got the flash of light going across the leather. So you can really see the texture of it. And then across his face, I love his hair with like the track lines in it, at least. That's what we call it here in the UK. I don't know what it's called in other places. But looking at the group shot, you can see his outfit is so much clearer. And we can see he's got this beautiful long leather coat with the raglan sleeve, which is where the sleeve comes down in a circular shape like this instead of down the arm like that. So beautiful raglan cut. It really helps with that soft shoulder shape that he has going on. His looks then been styled with that jersey t-shirt underneath and we can see it's been worn over the wide cut trousers. I just think the t-shirt would have looked slightly better tucked in because where we've got the coat worn open is quite an oversized cut. Then you've got the wide leg trousers. I think just tucking in and bringing a bit of silhouette to the leg and defining the waist would look just like that touch cleaner, but it still looks great. That's just personal preference, I suppose. And then it's been finished with that chunky shoe. I think the long coat just really adds to like the matrixy kind of vibe of the concept. Next up, Sugar with the still gray hair. This hair color on him is beautiful and it works with the shot really really well but then also in the ethereal shots it works really well with his outfit so it's just the perfect color but what i like with this shot is you can see the texture of the leather and then you can see the hints of the studs coming through on that hoodie underneath i believe the studded hoodie is by givenchy and then the sleeveless leather piece over the top is by rick owens you can see it a lot clearer again in the group shot you can really see the gold studs contrasting against the black and then that leather the shine of the leather against the really matte of the cotton jersey. I'm assuming it's cotton jersey underneath. It's such a beautiful juxtaposition. The only thing of this look is I'm just not mad about the trouser. Again, you can't see it in the individual shot, but in the group, you can see that it comes down very wide and then it's tucked into those chunky boots. And I just think for me where you've got the hoodie and then that oversized leather vest, layered over the top it would have looked a lot nicer with a more slim trouser coming into the boot but again that's just personal preference it still works but i just think like a slimmer silhouette on the leg would have been more harmonious with the top just my opinion and then obviously finishing up with i'm your hope you're my hope j hope my first buys record who does this man think he is who does this man think he is in this individual shot, come on. With this like lavender gray hair, the attitude, like the low key sexiness of like the gesture, come on. Who does he think he is? Cause I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Again, not getting to see much of the outfit, but I like the fact that we're focusing on the face, that thick chain coming around the neck, and then you can see how sharp the cut of the tailoring is across the shoulder. And then looking at the group shot, his expression is completely different. It's more of like that ethereal kind of vibe. So again, I just love the difference between the group and the individual shot, but we can see he's got this long black coat that's incredibly sharp. And then he's got the leather trousers that look like they have some sort of embellishment going down the side. I believe both are by Givenchy. And I love that it's been layered with the hoodie underneath. Honestly, a hoodie with the blazer over the top, a tailored coat over the top, it is a vibe. Especially like this with that thick chain over the top, it just really pushes it in this more stylized direction. If you take the chain away, it's gonna be something a lot more clean that you could wear in your everyday life, a really sick all black fit, but it's that chain that really like pushes it in that direction. He looks fantastic. Moving on to the door concept pictures, and honestly, I can't pick a favorite between Proof and Door. Yes, Proof is incredibly up my street, all black, dark, the different textures, but just how soft these looks are, the colors, 
the incredibly soft print on the fabrics. The fact that the tailoring is made out of sheer fabrics, but it still has the construction, the sharpness, the silhouette. If any of you have ever sewn and you've sewn a sheer fabric, you understand how fucking difficult they are to work with to cut them they move. You have to like weigh them down, stick them down to the table and cut them to get them precise as possible, especially for tailoring. And tailoring is so hard to make. There are so many elements that go into it. The different seams, the different shoulder pads interfacing, like everything to construct a tailored piece. And you're using sheer fabrics. I'm really frustrated because I've not been able to find out who the designer is. I'll continue to do further the research as I'm editing the video but I've not been able to find them yet and they just need the biggest fucking round of applause for these looks. They are so beautifully done and the fact like how hard it would have been to make these garments like fuck. What's so beautiful about this group shot as well are the different tones that we have going on and the way that the members have been placed it photographs perfectly. You think we've got Jin and Jungkook on the end giving us the white vibes and then you've got RM and V giving us the blue vibes and obviously V's is lighter, RM's has more saturation to it and then it's the same with Jimin, Sugar and J-Hope, the pinky kind of vibes. Sugar, incredibly soft, J-Hope giving us more of a pastel vibe and then Jimin with the more saturated purple tone of pink and I like the fact that they're all wearing the same boot as it pulls the looks together and creates that cohesion. Stunning. Starting off with V, just honestly I'm dying. The individual shot where he's looking up, the ethereal vibes, the close-up shot where he has the metal flower in his mouth gazing right into the camera. It's still soft, but it's still giving us that like, he's a bad boy kind of vibe. I don't know how he does it, honestly. And then looking at the outfit, just the soft tones of blue and how the outfit gradiates as it goes down. We're starting off with the most saturated blue near the face and then it fades down getting lighter, the lighter trousers and then the white boot is incredibly clever. And you can see in the close up shot that there's this very soft print to the fabric and it just adds to the softness. It kind of looks like clouds and flowers, like it's so soft, kind of smoky as well. And when I said about the construction, you can see the shoulder pads and how clean those shoulder pads are inside the garment. If you're using a solid fabric, you don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. It can be as messy as you want inside. You could write, cussing someone out on the inside of the garment and no one will know. You can have threads dangling everywhere, but when you use sheer fabrics, you have to use seams that encase all of that and make it incredibly clean. Like look at the peak lapel and how clean those seams are. You don't see any fraying of the fabric and sheer fabrics fray like fuck. So I'm just literally fangirling over this designer's work and whoever sewed these garments, like, come on. Like, the work is just so clean and perfect. And back to the shot, back, back to the shot. The way that the sheer fabric falls, it adds to the gradation of the color. You think, looking at the jacket, you can see that it's quite dense and it's got this sheer fabric overlay to it. But then as the jacket comes down, you can get to really see that sheer quality and you get to see that sheer quality where the lightness of the trousers are and you can see the seams, you can see the pocket bags, you can see the turn up of the fabric and the way that it gradiates down with the color, it just really adds to the softness of the shot. I'm dead. Moving on to Mr. Worldwide Handsome, Jin. First thing I notice is that the cut of his outfit is incredibly similar to V's, but Jin's jacket is collarless and it gives us more attention to the shirt. You can see that the shirt has these beautiful knife pleats going down next to the placket. The placket is where the buttons sit and knife pleats are where the pleats go in the same direction. And 
the granddad collar, the chain around the neck with the jewel, kind of like where like a bow tie would sit. I think it's very, very clever. And even though the necklace kind of interferes with the neckline of the shirt, and I always go on about this in red carpet reviews of like dresses and stuff, for me it works because it's just sitting on top and it kind of looks like it could be part of the shirt. And then you'll notice that the shirt has that same kind of very soft cloud print to it. And this is quite white in the full shot, but then in the close-up shot, it's got the pinky kind of hue to it, which ties into the other members' looks. And the same as V, you'll notice that the most dense part is the top around his face, and then the jacket really shears out, and you can see the facing of the placket of the jacket, the pocket bag, all of the side seams that help to create the structure of the coat. I just, I need to stop fangirling over <laughs> the actual pieces. And then Jin has got that straight cut trouser that sits beautifully over the boot of that really clean press down the front. These outfits are just perfect. Jimin, my bias. Jimin has been getting his squats in. Let's just start off with that, okay? We can see the booty pop in behind that sheer fabric. I don't know what he's been doing, but give me some tips, like, come on. And I know it sounds really weird, that's the first thing I noticed, but the crop of the jacket, the slim cut trouser right over the booty, it's drawing attention to it, come on. Like, if you've got a good booty and you put on that crop jacket and like a good pair of jeans or trousers that are really on the bum, you know what you're doing. Jimin, you knew. What I think is really interesting about this look is the fact that this doesn't have any sheer fabrics to it. It is solid, it's dense, but the softness of the print and the actual like lavender it's not lavender, it's more of like a purpley pink tone. It just ties with everyone else's look and his print is slightly different. It almost looks like, you know when you like cut into like a crystal and you've got all of like the layers to it, it kind of looks like that, but incredibly soft. What you'll notice about this jacket is that it is a collarless style and it really draws attention to the neckline of the shirt. Looking at the neckline to me it looks like a pussy bow blouse style shirt because there's no collar at the placket and then you can see that there are these long pieces coming from around the back and in the full shot you can see it coming down to his mid thigh and that would tie up in the bow. I think it would look really sick with the bow done up, but I like the fact that they've left it open. It gives it a more soft, casual kind of look, and these images are incredibly soft. The fabric billowing in front, behind. So naturally, you know, it looks best to have it loose and flowing with the rest of the image. <laughs> that was really weird. Jungkook's outfit is probably the most clean and simple outfit out of the entire set of looks and looking at the full length shot the silhouette is so beautiful the cropped jacket has got quite a boxy fit and then he's got that button down shirt tucked into that trouser that's hitting him right at the waist it's been pulled out to add to the softness the billowiness of the fabric and then he's got that slim cut trouser that's coming right down and sitting over the boot of that clean press down the middle and then I just really like the simple chain with the half moon around the neck it draws your attention to there and to his face but it doesn't distract do you know it draws your attention there but then you notice the cut of the jacket how boxy it is and then you can see that it's got that very thin belt towards the bottom with the fabric draping down i think it's just a nice touch when the jackets won't open because it adds again to the softness of the set around them but it's not like you're going to do the jacket up and belt it it just wouldn't look right i don't think but just the sheer quality of this boxy jacket it just has to be appreciated like honestly the that would have gone into constructing these is absolute madness. And then again, his piercings do work really well here, but I think in the close-up shot, you can see that they've taken the lip ring out. He's still got his eyebrow, but the studs of the earrings, all of the rings on the fingers, where this is such a clean outfit, the jewelry on the fingers, the clean necklace around the neck, and then all of the stud earrings, it just adds that perfect finishing touch. Thickens are, um, his individual shots are throwing me off because I can't like depict all of the details. Obviously he's like walking out from behind the curtain and then he's got the fabric in front of him. The shot of him with the fabric billowing in front of him, so beautiful. And it looks like his hair is more of like a slightly softer color in this one. It doesn't look so black. So I'm not sure if they've done something there in editing. I don't know, it might be different hair. We're not here to talk about that. This blue color looks beautiful on him and 
This silhouette looks so great on him. Like silhouettes on RM when it comes to tailoring, we've seen it can be quite challenging for the stylist and it doesn't always work out the best, but they've done a beautiful job here. That slim cut trouser that's right at the waist, really emphasizing the length of his legs, finishing perfectly over the boot. And then the sheer layers over the more solid layers. Let me just look at the group picture actually to see if I can like get a clearer. Yeah, looking at the group shot, you can see that he's got a button down shirt with quite a wide collar on it, but the collar is very, very soft. And then he's got that simple necklace underneath. And then over the top, he's got that sheer layer in the color that pretty much matches his trousers. He's not getting the same gradient as V and Jin with their longer jackets, that really works. I like the fact that his sheer layer ties into the trousers because it just really creates this clean look. Again, this is very clean like Jungkook's, but you can see that the way the sheer is layering over the shirt, at the collar and they've left it open again it helps to create like this flowiness this softness to the look and then another thing that i'm picking up on in the first set of looks they all had like very heavy jewelry that was very like iced out so i like the fact that each member has a necklace on with a pendant and it's very like silver and like clear in these images so it ties it back in it's just a very like lighter softer version of that same idea oh that's very interesting i've just opened sugar's individual shots and the outfit is a lot more blue but in the group shot it's definitely giving like a very like dusky light pink kind of vibe so i think that's really interesting again it could just be lights or post editing but i really like the blue tone because it really ties into this like iced out hair that he's got going on here again his hair looks lighter than the proof shots could be different hair could be editing could be lighting it could be any of the above i don't know i'm just here to talk about fashion the first thing i notice about sugars is the beautiful shirt detail the way that the shirt wraps around and it has that double placket going down in that camp collar style is so beautiful and it's nothing wild they've literally pulled that same shape of the placket on the left hand side just further out and it creates this beautiful almost like origami like finish the way that the collar has been folded back it just really gives me that vibe and then he's got this long sheer coat and you can see that it's got the belted waist it's very very soft and it's got a shawl lapel so that shawl lapel isn't taking away from the collar detail on the shirt and this doesn't have that same gradient like v's and jeans but the outfit underneath is more of these like softer like gray blue tones whereas the coat itself has more of like a true brighter blue and just the color palette is beautiful he has that same chain around the neck like everyone else and then that same slim cut trouser that's coming right down to the boot his doesn't look as high on the waist as jungkook's and rm's but just the overall look like the silhouette of it the fabrics put together and then that really clean detail of the shirt like Finishing up with J-Hope. I love the way his outfit has been layered. And what I find really interesting is in the more close-up shot, we can see that he's got the Cuban collar shirt layered over the top of the jacket. And you can see that he's got the fabric pieces coming down. So it's like the combination of like a pussy bow blouse with a Cuban collar shirt. I think that combination is really interesting. And the length of those ribbons coming down, it really adds the flowiness of the look as we've discussed previously. And unlike V and Jin, where their looks had the gradation with the long coats, his look underneath is quite that solid, pastel pink color the shirt and the trousers almost being exactly the same tone and then the jacket over the top it has that more peachy tone to it it's incredibly soft and you really get to appreciate the sheer quality over the top of that slightly more saturated pink tone underneath like in the close-up shot you can see that this jacket doesn't have any shoulder pads at all it's very soft but it's got that square set in sleeve and then you can see the cuff detail of the shirt the double button the pleat underneath the sheerness it's just so beautiful like honestly like sheer over like solid fabrics it just fucking gets me every time and then the same slim cut trouser the press down the middle and then that white boot tying in with everyone else's and then he's got the chain around the neck as we discussed earlier and then some very nice rings that tie into that chain the proof and door concept pictures serve up completely different vibes 
I'm obsessed. Every single look is amazing. And I'm still not over the sheer tailoring. It's just so difficult and it, the craftsmanship has to be appreciated. I'll be fangirling over this for a long time. And <laughs> whilst I'm editing the video as well, I'm just gonna be sat here like, oh my God. <sighs> Please let me know in the comments if you have a favourite between the proof concept pictures or the door concept pictures. I honestly can't pick. They just, both of them slapped for me. But let me know if you have a favourite. And don't, you know, don't press yourself to pick if you can't like me. So, you know. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed and you enjoyed today's video, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss Friday's upload when I react to yet to come. But thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. You are amazing. And I'll see you guys on my next video on Friday. <laughs> Bye guys.